Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR family gaming video. This is Droid TDR. I'm Diona. What are we doing here? Standing in the water. Let's get out of the water. We have to go fight a crux clash thing and none of these contestants really seem too difficult. So let's just do it. Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? <sighs> All right, you're signed up. Oh my. Next, please. What's your name? Traveler. Droid TDR. Oh, wait. Uh, aren't you? Yep. Oh, did I hear that right? Is it really them? Yeah. Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Yeah. It's really her! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting! Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get her autograph later. I trust you are aware a celebrity. that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament. Really? Yeah, I don't have one. But but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Uh, I mean, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osail, so that's one. Do you uh, have any others? See, so yeah, I defeated a uh, Fatui Harbinger. I saved Valen, the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonis. Let's do that. Yeah. Mentioned that the previous battles include, but are not limited to, Storm Terror, Devalin, and Fatui Harbinger Child. Whoa. Childy Child. Might yeah. as well declare her the champion already. No. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Oh, come on. Okay, um, that's plenty. <laughs> Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. <sighs> By a long shot. Right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. Yep. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. What? There's another prize too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous mm. as Inazuma? It's a good question. I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance, then? Everyone's misunderstanding the situation. I'm just not that interested in the vision. Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so... Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during Oh man, during you're probably the right. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? All right, it's showtime. You got this. You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Yep. Good. Let's then do please it. Please follow me into the arena. Let's see. What do we do? Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. Her first bout begins now. Y you? You're the hero they're talking about? Ugh. How am I supposed to win now? <laughs> what a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? Yeah, that was weird. Well, now that we've won, let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. All right, where, where, where? Talk to Beto. What do we gotta say? <laughs> I 
I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? She totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. I don't know about style. We just walked up and punched him. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show she put on just now, she's more than convinced me of her ability. So come on. We all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. That was awesome. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? I suppose. So? I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Okay. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers. Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals. This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Okay, Besides, then. At your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, Paimon was thinking that too. All right, I'm going to watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. After a long wait, finally. We're finally here, folks. The real show is about to begin. <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Okay. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit chat for now. The audience is waiting. Oh, is she Electro too? Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. She's Electro, isn't she? Oh, that would be so cool to have an Electro. I don't know what, what does she use? Does she use a great sword or Your what? Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. Okay. I do not doubt your Gain abilities, sleep? but oh. I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Okay. Relax, my girl's at the top of her game. She ain't gonna lose. I'm getting a don't few worry. butterflies though. So. Take some time to compose yourself. At last, Wrong the moment she. we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun. Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. We'll talk. Oh. It's a fury. Pretty good. Okay. I'm sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Okay. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need nice to train job. harder. You have the potential. For a moment there, Paimon was a little worried. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. Yep. I wanted a vision once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. Really? But mine never came. 
Well, maybe you I get one now. Eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hmm. hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. Nice. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Wow! Now that's true strength talking! Nice! If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. Uh, by the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. Oh boy. So don't get too cocky. Okay. There he goes. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little. Was this just flowers? Just flowers. Bummer. Ah, it's you! <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <sighs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment, but before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Oh boy. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents. But faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Oh dear. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. Oh, you're laughing. I thought you were doubling over in sickness. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's up, Liang? Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. There was blood all over the place. Oh His my. opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Mm. Why don't you dodge, they ask. Because to not dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. Oh my. Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. Oh my. I don't dare tell my master about this. Otherwise, I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Thanks, I'll do my best. Okay then. Okay. We still haven't got any useful information yet. Other than he's quick and fast. Maybe we can go talk to Beto. Surely she's gotta know something. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. Okay. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. Yep, pretty much. In fact, Learned he I had the double this punch. not from yep. what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But... It is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> hmm? He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? We wanted to Pretty ask much. You who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. Okay. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? 
Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. Could but we? at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given okay. your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on, don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Mm. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Huh? Way to Wait go, Paimon. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt! <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? Yeah, of course. In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. Okay. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with okay. me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Wait, it's pre-match. We're about to go fight, right? We're about to go fight. Wait, where? What? What the heck is he doing over here? Dude. No. Okay, fine. Okie dokie. You know, I think it will just put Traveler back in the rotation, though we did have an achievement, did we? Nice. Five uh, primos. And let's get out of that. And let's go party set up. Let's get our Traveler. Back in the rotation, Barbara. Thanks for playing. Just what will we come across this time? I don't know. So excited to find out, though. Which way are we headed? This way. There he is. Here, you mind if I process some wheat while we're going? Okay. Process. Oh, look. We have almost all of it. Yay. We have all the cream. We have almost all the cheeses. Got all that. Fantastic. We'll have all everything except for the cheese. Almost completely done. Three, two, one, and... Done. Thank you so much. We'll just cook that and pick it up. Brilliant. All right. What is it this guy wants to talk to me about? Seriously, dude. What? Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. Okay, you're just you going to take us in to Inazuma? You the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Um, is that correct? Yeah. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment. You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. True. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, okay. somehow Paimon still believes 
believes you. My humble well, abilities on with it, are dude. negligible compared to your. And to think a human could wield the elements without a vision. True. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Really? Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell. It's weird. It is weird. Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Ah, uh, it's nothing really. Paimon just told her whatever came to mind. <laughs> it's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, she just naturally learned to use the elements through it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Okay. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Wait, what? We're fighting him? I always forget they explode at the end. Oh my gosh, she's serious? Oh, that didn't work out so well. Everybody stand back! Speed of light! With sword comes shadow! Seriously. Huh? <laughs> 
All right, how is that? Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Hmm. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Okay. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He okay. relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Okay. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods. And what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions? My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. Pretty much. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have. Regar so that's what you're curious about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the Divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Mm. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. Oh in my. The headset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new electrovisions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Yeah, what's going on? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. Okay. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I, too, shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! Yep. If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very yep. well. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, final, final battle. I guess... Follow the wind. Enter the arena and fight the final round. All right, let's do it. Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! All right. We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Okay, now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen her, her reputation knows no bounds. She strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of her name causes even Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Aww. Introducing Liu's traveling hero! Wow! <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment! Yay. I'm sure everyone witnessed her thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. Yes, we'll As see. Our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. What? Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. Uh... We've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. 
No, oh, I moment. need to get to Anazuma. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Oh dear. Oh dear, did someone steal the prize? Oh dear, we're gonna have to find out in the next episode because it is already a long episode. But, oh my, we're battling people and stuff. So, pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.